Hey everyone, I'm Greg, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I have done in previous videos. Today I am going to talk about the things that I've already talked about. <laughs> I'm going to just, you know, kind of check in. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what's been going on for me and, and so forth, and, and really where I'm seeing things going in the future. So a little bit different, but I still hope that you will enjoy it. Uh, maybe just out of curiosity, seeing what's going on a little bit behind the scenes. So before I get too far ahead of myself, I needed to just show this bad boy off. I am very excited. I got myself a streaming microphone. I got myself a nice blue Yeti. Uh, so this is the kind of microphone if you get interested in making a YouTube channel or, or doing any podcasts or anything like that, and you start digging around, this is one of the microphones that you'll see referenced over and over and over. I've been keeping an eye out for one for some time now. I've known that they go on sale periodically and, and frequently will come with a, a brand spanking new game. So pretty excited to try this out. And I really hope that as a result of having superior hardware, I will now be able to make better videos and people will really start to dig a little bit on that. So, you know, I, I just really hope that the audio is going to be better moving forward. So that is the first thing. Second way that I have leveled up the channel, one, two, second way that I've leveled up the channel is that I now have a Twitter account. So I'll be doing some tweets, talking about things that I'm thinking about things that are coming up for the channel and you can find the link to it in the links below. So that's the second way that I've leveled up. I also got a new chair, not really leveling up the channel, but you know, at least I'll be more comfortable when I'm making these videos. So bonus points for me. So the things that I have experienced and so forth with the channel thus far, first off, the new Coke video was a huge, huge, huge debut for me. I'm really happy with how that performed, and I really have to thank my friend Ethan for getting the word out and helping me spread the word on that. That was huge, uh, and that led, I'm sure, to quite a few of the views that I got. By far my best performing video thus far. So thank you very much, Ethan. Really appreciate the support. Next, there is the Game of Thrones video, which I really got a kick out of one of the comments that was left uh, by, so this is this is a problem. I don't know how he says his screen name, but it's Corn N-I-N Nut. He's expressing that he likes corn and he likes Nine Inch Nails. So I always in my head have called him Corny Nut, but I know that that's not what he's going for but he said that season eight first and foremost was a really good book marketing campaign and i just i got a kick out of that you know it, it kind of it, it plays on a lot of things and and yeah i really got a kick out of that so i just wanted to talk about that really quick ninja turtles have been pretty good for me i've gotten a lot of really good feedback I've uh, he been hearing that it really showed that I love the Ninja Turtles, so I'm really happy that that went through and, and was picked up by you guys out there. Uh, I absolutely love the Ninja Turtles, and maybe we'll do some more videos on the Ninja Turtles moving forward. There's a breadth of content that I can discuss and show you guys and all of those things combined. And really, if you guys love it, I will make more of it, so awesome. I also had a really fun time making the video while I was playing Rescue Palooza. That was a lot of fun to make, and I got some great feedback on that as well. So I definitely want to be making some more gameplay videos moving forward. So what's my experience been beyond that? Where do I see the channel moving forward? Well, I got to tell you, it's been... It's been really difficult for me to deal with all the fame and notoriety that this has brought. You know, it's hard for me to walk down the street without people recognizing me and, and just shouting out things like, you suck. I, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And, and really, it's it's been a very 
good learning experience for me. I think that I was really confused about a lot of things before I started, like exactly how much of this is skill based. It's really difficult to just get on ch on camera and speak, not saying mm, and like and things like that is one thing, but also speaking in clear, full sentences is a real challenge, uh, particularly for me. So I have to do a lot of takes and it's it's a lot of work in order to make a good video. Not that I really think that anything I put out is good or certainly not to the level that I want to be at, but it's a learning process. And I definitely have a much greater appreciation for the YouTubers that I watch, the Twitch streamers that I watch, and I just, I really have a, a much better appreciation for who they are and what they do. Like I said, this is, it's definitely a skill. I personally need to continue working a great deal on those skills if I'm going to ever make videos that are what I know I can make in, in my heart and, and want to be making. So, So we have that. I've also been leaning on my friends and family quite a bit uh, lately to get more ideas and get feedback uh, and also really to keep the motivation up. Uh, I was joking previously about the notoriety and fame. It's it's a, been a bit of a struggle for me because I, I didn't realize how much work it really would be to try and build a community and build an audience. And, and I'm still very much behind the game uh, compared to what I am hoping to do and so forth. So I really am trying to keep the motivation to keep going, even if I'm not getting the kinds of views that I, you know, the fantasy uh, levels that I was thinking about before starting this process. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm staying with it. I have a lot of more, a lot more motivation now. Uh, again, leaning on my friends and family, I have a lot of great ideas. So keep an eye out. I really hope and I think that you're going to like what we have coming up soon. So keep an eye out. And as always, see you next time.